Hello and welcome back to the Driving Home podcast. There is no Harry today. Uh, I've got a special guest star. The last two podcasts, which is why this one is late, didn't work. We recorded them at Fully Charged Live and there's a big whine in the background, the audio malfunction. As always, the great professional. So I'm doing a bit of an impromptu one with, as I said, a special guest star. It's EVW. Here she is. Say hello. Hello, everybody. There we go. So I thought on this one we would get an opinion from somebody who is not a car person. Without sounding sexist in any way, it is usually a female's opinion. You know, it's Which usually counts. the one. Blokes are usually the car people out there. Whatever people think. There's exceptions, but it usually is that way around. So it's a generalisation. It but is, yeah, but it generalisations cases, generally they have a basis. Exactly. Yes. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like myths. You always have. Uh, Something in reality. Anyway, uh, a lot of people like to hear from someone like yourself because you've got a lot of experience. You've driven, as I have, obviously, EVs for nearly, well, around six years since we got the very first Nissan Leaf. Yeah. Uh, so I thought I'd take you back to the, well, 2015 time when I brought on what was... The uh, Grey Leaf? The, it, was it? Well, no, no, it was one? a demo first. So we got the four day test drive with Nissan. Oh, I'd forgotten that. Yeah, we got Right. Um, and that was, that's when they actually did a four day test drive, which I think was our proof of concept because we wouldn't have just bought one. No, and I must admit, I think I was really impressed that they gave us they gave us the car for that length of time because quite often I always thought test drives would be okay. You've got oh, about twenty an minutes hour with the dealer in the car. Yeah, if, if, you're, if lucky. you're lucky or yeah. something like that. So the fact that we got it for four days meant that we could actually do some decent time. Hey, you went to work in it in the car, yeah, on exactly, the which day. is key journey to do for me. I mean, I think that's the first thing to basically let people know. I mean, this is designed so people who are umming and iron about an EV, and it's usually. One person really wants it, and they're trying to persuade their partner. So that's, this is this is for you, the partner who's listening to this podcast, maybe on a journey somewhere, and you're like, oh, I don't know when I listen. Can we not listen to Heart FM or something like that? No, no, let, let, let's let's listen to this podcast. You might like it. This is for them, yes. stuck in the or passenger like the seat. air conditioning argument. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, the one wants it, the other one doesn't. Well, thing. maybe, but I think when buying a car is a bit different. <laughs> well, slightly different. I'm sorry, I have to say this and state this now, and I think most people will believe will, will, will be on my side on this one. Air conditioning, when you've got you know, when you've got two zones where it says twenty and twenty or nineteen and twenty. That is perfect if you can. It do has it two to be ways. the same. It has to be even. You can't have two different numbers on the dashboard. No, it no, no, it no, cannot no, be. No. You see, I'm the one generally with OCD when it comes to the house thing and having to check doors and stuff. But no, you, you can't have it's twenty on one greater. side and twenty point five on the other. It just not. It can't happen. If it's a two-way thing, if you can have one seat warmer and the other seat cooler, then it's perfect because that just prevents. Yes, but then all the numbers the won't debates. match. Anyway, let's get on to the uh, the right. time when I brought home the Nissan Leaf. The yes. I think it was black actually, uh, and it was a twenty-four kilo-hour Leaf at the time, the four-day one that we had. And I mean, even in the beginning, that, it didn't last long, did it? The the mileage it didn't uh, last long, half you, the capability. Sixty-five to seventy-five miles, unless Gosh. we were driven driving economically, of course. But yes, it, <laughs> that was the big thing. Yeah. So the, now we had two cars. So ultimately, the range thing wasn't a major well, thing. We always have, haven't we? So we've always had yeah, the petrol. Yeah, but we, one, if we wanted but, to go anywhere, and not wanted to charge, we would just take the other car. Yeah. So yeah. when I first said to you, I guess before the test drive, I'm thinking about this. I think I remember showing you, and it went, well, it looks a bit different, but all right then. Um, thinking about getting a test drive, and it's electric. Did it even register? The, the, no. Yeah. I mean, I what did you heard, think? I hadn't heard of electric. So when vehicles, I said it's an electric vehicle, really? you just what? You went, all right then, and thought... I'd... Well, no, I didn't just go, all right then. I think <laughs> I remember thinking, electric vehicle? Well, what's, what's that exactly? Because I haven't heard of an electric vehicle before. And now you turn on the telly and it's got an advert for an electric vehicle. You listen to the radio. I've come a long way in the five or six years. Vehicles, exactly. Yeah. So it's so. You know, so what, totally I mean, I honestly, I can't really remember. Did you go? Well, what does that mean? Or you know, what were you thinking? I can't exactly remember, but I know that one of the first <laughs> great podcast material. Yay! I remember that one of the first videos we did where we talked together, and you were on about a fev, and I said, "Well, what's what's a fev?" So that was the first thing. Mm. And then you talked about um, an EV, but you, you did the ac- the acronym for the EV, and I wasn't what, sure what... What's an EV? Yeah, <laughs> electric vehicles. But that, that video was done a good 18 months <laughs> after we bought them. Yeah. So I'm going about right at the beginning. Oh, I know, I know, exactly. I hadn't heard of electric vehicles, but again, because you always do, you'd done loads of research into them. Well, it was a test drive, so point. there was no risk mm. either way, wasn't it? So we, we, I gave it a go, and yeah. I was quite impressed with the, the, the we driving. We had had... Uh, we had a Fabio VRS, which was a DSG, an automatic, basically. 
like so I say, you'd I don't. Driven I them before, but it was very different to to that car. Cause you, that that yeah. was kind of my car, and you had your own. Whereas now we've just got two cars between us. But what I couldn't get over was the fact that it didn't have the engine in. Oh, the, the no noise in yes. the car, which back and then was it, yeah, very very it, strange, but now it's kind of normal. I suppose it is. I mean, you, you just kind of get used to it, but. You know, you have the time where you're ringing somebody and you've got the engine noise in the background, so it's always hard to hear. And then all of a sudden, you're in this car and ooh, all you've got is just the music if you want to listen to it. Otherwise, it's... Oh, your own yeah. thoughts. Ah, uh, yes. That must be a... Is that a quiet place or a loud place? I'd say it's fairly bustling most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Little I, storm going on there. I, I, I remember we, uh, we... We... We did the test drive. I thought, oh, let's go for it. And that was when they were doing some ridiculous offers on the Leafs. There was major discounts because it was a very early adopter. You know, I won't say the earliest time, but it was early adopter stage. So we got a very good price. It was a monthly thing. And we were effectively almost saving as much in fuel costs compared to the petrol car I had um, with what it was costing a month. So financially, we were fine. It was just a case of the car itself. They had the government grant as well then, didn't they? Well, they still do now. It's just right, it was five it's grand now and it's two and a half now. Yeah. Uh, there were big right. dealer discounts. There were also Nissan discounts. Because they were like really said, they were new. promoting it. They were because, new, so they had yeah. to they had to really incentivise them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I can't remember. I think it was about two hundred pounds a month with a five hundred pound deposit. I think that's what we first paid for three years. Yeah, I can't actually I mean, remember now. We'll, we'll, I'll come back to why we only had that car for a year in a in a bit. But uh, oh yes, that's a good most story. Most people know it, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we, we effectively started on the EV journey and you were perfectly fine taking it to work at back because driving it's a doddle, isn't it? It's just a car. Yeah, I had a couple of points in winter. I was very insistent that it was at, at least 49% and really I preferred it to be it could over be 50, 50% could be <laughs> yeah. in winter. I'd normally I think say it was to you, I'd be ringing you that. up. Yeah, I'd be ringing you up and saying, what percentage is it on? Because that would determine yeah. whether I'd take that one or And I think the, for what, nine mini. nine... 95 out of 100 journeys to, to work I mean you, you yeah, were you, so, it was alright you were yeah, happy with it um, you just it was just a car but because you always work, work after I do so you work in the evenings nights I work during the day yeah. mainly for childcare um, you always had, had the last half if you will of the yeah. battery charge because yeah, it charged at night that's it and I was also more conscious that when I was driving I was vulnerable there were less people on the road it's dark, etc. Well, you, so you tend to finish in the, at like much, two, three in the yeah, morning for those. If I didn't have as much percent, I was really conscious, and I would find that there were some journeys I was giving myself a headache because I was literally almost staring fixedly See, at think, the percent and as to what it was doing. That's what I think you've got used to now, but it did take ages because you say, I'm only on 15%. Well, where are you? Bingley. And back then we lived somewhere else. It's like, well, you, I don't know, six miles away? 15% is 15 yeah. miles ish. Yeah. You, just... you, 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 there's no way you can't make it back, no matter what you drove it like. And it took you a while to get used to the fact that getting back on 10% isn't a problem. I'd get back on 4% sometimes. That, that, that was quite rare. It was quite rare. It did, it did happen. And, and, and exactly today, with today, it, but... today's EVs, it wouldn't happen at all, would it? No, it's a, it's a totally different ball game when you've got the Tesla. Well, that's... yeah, I mean... That's like the din daddy. Let's fast forward to that. To Let's fast forward to that. So now we've got a, we've gone from a 60, 70 mile range car and then obviously went to the 30 kilo hour leaf. But let's skip straight to the test. Do you not want to tell the, the story? Or we'll we come back, back to the story. Right. Okay. Uh, let's um, go to when we, you know, go from effectively going from 60, 70 miles to 200, which I think 150 is the standard on a new EV today. And 200 isn't uncommon at all. 250 is pretty common. It, so it was incredible. Do you even look at the percentage the now? Yes. When you're driving back, yeah. I mean. I do, no, I do still look at the percentage, but I, I look at it and I think, right, I've got double that. It's fine. Yeah, so even if it's on it's 30%, right. so if it's on you 30%, know you've got 60 yeah, odd miles, I, 70 miles? It, exactly, yeah. So it's, and yours it's is unusual a for... 38 mile round, call it 40 mile round trip to work. Out. I'm not great on miles. It's about 40 yeah. miles. To, it takes back. me three quarters of an hour to an hour to get there, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? So, so 40 miles is, is, is basically your journey uh, to work and back. So... The Tesla has to be on a really low percentage for it not to work out. And yeah. at some point, you, even when you had the Leaf, you never charged it, did you? As in, either going no. to or from work, even even during the day. No. In, not once did you pull in somewhere, even for I five never, minutes, on a I rapid charger or a fast or anything like that. Not once. But you know what I'm like about the charging thing, and I, I, I need to actually physically do the charging more myself because I've kind of left it to you to the extent now that I'm not really that. Well, I'm not confident about doing the charging myself, so I even after six years. There you go. 
There you go. And well, so, so that's a, a top tip, if you will. If there's if, if there's a couple, whichever way around it is, don't do all the driving yourself, both of you. Yeah. And to the person who's not that who's nervous, maybe about an EV, go out and do a few things that you haven't done. Go and charge it. Get used to it, rather than yes. say, "Oh, you do all the driving." Because you're no further forward because I've been doing all the driving. Well, no. But yet then I remember reading, I've read in a couple of your comments about somebody who said, my wife won't even get petrol in our car because she doesn't like to do that. Well, I mean, I've got petrol for years and wouldn't think twice about getting petrol. Yeah, and this is no different, really. That's just something I do. But then again, I was also thinking, I used to go and check the tyres where we lived previously. I'd go and pull over at Morrison's and I'd go and check the air in the tyres. Because I haven't done that for so long now, if I'm in that position, I'm saying to you, oh, I think the the tyres need looking at because I've almost forgotten what I'm doing. And with it, it, so it also it, it doesn't help about... the fact that the car, both the mini and the tester, do it on the dashboard, so we don't have to. <laughs> well, yeah, but you see what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, don't yeah, yeah, you yeah. you, you a, stop doing. It's something, something that I think um, a lot of people, modern, you know, younger drivers certainly don't do because the car does it for them. You know, most cars these days, I, I know when we had the BMW the 330, that had, it checked its own oil. There was no dipstick. At least not one that you could well, get. Yeah, the dipstick. I mean, God, I haven't even used that in the the mini for for no, ages. Because because it you know really? to check the oil, you press a few things on the dashboard, and that's how BMW want you to check it. It uses its own sensors, so it has kind of dulled yeah. people of a few basic motoring skills. The fact that the cars do it for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So well, I guess that's a different thing. But that's why I mean, in terms of charging, you need to. If you were doing it again, would you be telling yourself do charging? Yes. Go on, go by yourself. Even you know, not not when you're well, going to work. No, but just not, go out and not charge. for going to work. Well, actually, what I'd probably be saying is do it with you a couple of times whilst you're around, and then try it by myself. Because I usually say that I would rather have that reassurance of knowing that you are still there in the background. But if I do it a couple of times whilst you're there, and then I try it by myself. But you know, one of the first times I, I took the car off, I mean, you did the video with the stupid music attached to it when I <laughs> well, got in a mess. Shall I tell people for those, because uh, I think it's still on the channel, I'm pretty sure it is. It's one of the very first we put on that. You drove to your mum and dad's in, I can't remember which leaf it was, I think it was the early leaf. Because there was enough range to get to your mum and dad's, but then you had yeah. to charge. And just using the three pin plug socket was enough, we'd done that a couple of times. So effectively, all you had to do is, char uh, is drive there and yeah. charge it your mum and dad's and drive back again. But, but I was trying to use the off, wrong charger. Uh, yeah, well, you stopped off at Lynn, which is yeah. just a couple of miles from my mum and dad's house, isn't it? Yeah. Three chargers. This is ecotricity. Bear in mind, it's a, a few it's years ago days. when they weren't quite yeah. as bad as they were, you know, recently. And, yeah, I said, right, ring me. If there's a problem. You, we, we had charged several times, as in, I'd shown you what to do, because we'd done lots, lots of journeys. We'd just done the, the big one down south where we must have charged like 18 times over the whole holiday. And you knew what to do, as in you just plug it in. I can't remember what was it. I think it was the RFID card. You know, you put the card on the side of the charger. So it was very straightforward. Yeah. The only thing the mistake you did, I guess, is that, yes, you picked up the... Uh, no, you picked up the correct charger, but you were pressing the AC button instead of the Chadamo oh, button. Oh, right. So you were I telling the charger was... that the other plug was plugged in and the charger right. was going, I thought there's nothing there. Like I knew that some, something had gone wrong. Yeah, you wrong. picked the wrong button on the charger. So if you'd pressed the other button... It had just gone yeah. straight away aside. But no problems whatsoever. I ended up having to get a bloke. A bloke came over well, and you gave me. You were me, didn't you? Well, I rang you. Oh, he came over whilst I was on the phone to you. Yes, and it was and all on dash cam because we had, had dash cam in the leaf. <laughs> yeah. And then I ended up doing a video of like three or four, well, it was probably nearly 10 minutes of you trying to get it charged because you kept trying, didn't you? And then it'd take a while it'd say, fail or whatever. Yes, yeah, so and then you sped it up you so all you can see is my yeah. little figure of me going bzz, 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 I had to speed it up because it went on that long and I put the Benny Hill music on in the background. Um, <laughs> so it was a complete mockery of me. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and after a while... And that it, did it, put me off with the yeah. charging and that's the, the thing, isn't it? So one bad experience put you off. Yes. And that's the and mistake really that was made done. because you, you never... Don't think by yourself charged again. No. I mean, you did when we think. were there. You know, you you, you did. You, you know, oh, just pr plug that in. It's not like you never touched the thing again, but you never went on a journey yeah. yourself. It, so it's it's, it's, it's I guess it's like everything, isn't it? Confidence. Mm. And I think that's what a lot of people worry about. Oh, it, will the charger work or not? It's not really that a problem. I mean, right now we don't have any of that worries. We've got this. We're lucky enough to have the supercharger network, the Tesla network. It the car knows if they're working, let alone. 
worrying about. They're usually 8 to 16 of them, and you just plug it in. You don't have no apps, no RFID cards. They tend to be Nothing. quite full these days, though. Yeah, well, yeah, but they're not yeah, full. There's just other people charging. Yeah. You, when you've got 16, it doesn't matter if but they're But then, we've talked about this, haven't we? There's the AB thing, you know, the fact that you try that, not even to... Even that's dying out now. Right, the that's version good. version 3 superchargers that, don't that need that. politics is... Um... Basically, don't part to next to someone else. I mean, I would do that yeah. anyway. If I had 16 beers and there were three or four cars in, well, I yeah, wouldn't I park would... directly next to somebody. No, anyway. I, I wouldn't, but like you say, it's just that extra, but extra yeah, little complication. Like, in my head, I'm going, right, so you're not going to take that car because you might have to pick a parking bear that's not next to somebody <laughs> Which else. Which you think sounds ridiculous, <laughs> and probably loads of people listening to this will be like, what? That makes no sense. Well, and okay. then there'll be those few people who will listen and go, actually... I understand where you're coming because from. Because you have to it's put a bit that. of effort into it. <laughs> well, no, it's not the effort thing. It's just you have to remember that. So that's one of the little tiny stress. You loved the Renault to, uh, Twizy. Which, as, as, well, as I, didn't, I didn't love it, but well, I did quite you enjoy driving, enjoy it. driving it. But the first and it's sold. parking experience. Gone. I know. And, uh, yeah, the first yeah. parking experience that I had put me off because I couldn't reverse into yes, the space. Which you might have seen the, the video. The smallest car in the world yes. is a parking problem. Yes, with reversing <laughs> and trying to see, because I was looking at the bottom of the car and trying to see, and obviously you don't have the same visibility. So is this all about reversing? Because you have to reverse the, t- the Tesla into the charger. Well, I always reverse, don't I? I, you know, right. I reverse so it's not that space. So what is it? So, no, 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 no. Do you no, not know no. the alphabet? Um, <laughs> but going back to that, then when I tried parking and I went in forwards with the Twizy, I was fine. So then I was yeah, a, just, I was just okay. It but took it to its MOT it for it getting rid of it. Be yeah. sold because that put me off. So effectively, yeah. part of it is I should have said no. You want take it again? Just try it again. It was one. Th- you press basically one button press screwed all that up. Part part of it is charging. And it's anxiety. easier now. Big part is charging anxiety. But yes, yes, it is easier now. So but, you, but you still want to take the Tesla. Do need to try and do it. Well, which is plug and play. It's not even an app. Yeah. So what I need to do is, is take the when, Tesla when at we some go, point. Yes, but make sure that I've done a couple more charges where you are there, and um, and then and then go. Even through, for, even no, for the supercharging network where, it, where you just plug it in and that, 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 and walk I'd away. I still prefer it. I'd still prefer it. It's reassurance. Yeah. It is. It's reassurance. And I think that's what quite a few people will be craving. And especially those, you know, who were deliberating on whether or not to get an EV. Will well, be okay, thinking, then. well, Let it's me ask the you unknown. That. Let me ask you that. Over the last five or six years, do you any time wish or regret getting an EV or driving? You know, basically, now you look back on it and someone said, we're thinking about getting one. What would you tell them? You know, I don't mean any detail. Would you go, oh, yeah, no problem. I say, yeah, Once I get used to it, it's it. a car. Yeah, because I do. I don't regret buying it at all. And I'm always quite happy, you know, when somebody says to me, oh, you know, how does the, the car work? I'm always quite happy to say to them, oh, basically charge it. We've got a charger at home or you can hmm. charge it as you're going around, just like the equivalent to, to petrol. I'm always happy to tell them a little bit about it, you know, in terms of the driving experience. You don't regret as smooth it is so no I don't, I don't regret it and I'll say about how it has saved us money in petrol but then I'll tell them and if you want to know any more <laughs> you can go onto my husband's YouTube so what you're saying is channel. you tell them to go to www.ev-man.co.uk where they can join as a member Absolutely. or even subscribe on the YouTube channel that's oh, I amazing tend to say, I'm a very very faithful wife <laughs> <laughs> I should hope so <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about charging now I hope you're not plugging your charge socket into somebody else's car. <laughs> or the other way around. I am uh, sharing their... Uh... But you, it, it, if you were talking to someone who says, oh, I don't know if I want an EV, he wants an EV, would I you would be encouraging them? Or... Yeah. I would say it's worth it's worth trying it out because that's where we're going towards. What are you worrying about? We are moving. What's to worry? You know, if, if he says we can charge it and we can afford it, it's a car. I think that's the thing. It's just Well, a yeah, car. but I would say to them... You know, worrying about charging is totally natural and just try and take it step by step. And don't pretend it doesn't exist. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The charging network. Go and use it. You'll find it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, But then I do also agree with what some people are saying that, you know, if they put them on motorways and it can be dark when people are are driving that they don't necessarily want to be leaving it there for an amount of time. So I, I can appreciate exactly where some are coming from from that point of view with their concerns. Yeah, well, in that, yeah, that's, as in some of the charge points are in a location that's mm. not, well, I won't say not nice. They're always in a, a main car park, but they can be very dark. Yeah. And car parks are car parks at the end of yeah, the day. Exactly. Uh, I mean, the services so, are services. They're, you'd be fine with the services. So there are things to consider, but for those who just have like small journeys to do, for example, small local journeys, then the, the EV 
would be uh, be perfect. Well, I think that's where it highlighted, isn't it? Uh, in terms of using the uh, the EV, it's always for charter journeys. Yeah. You know, you take it to work pretty much every day, unless I know there's a press car in the way and you have to take the other one. Um, it's not as if you yeah. you go out of your way to use the petrol car. It, you know, some some weeks it barely gets touched at all, doesn't it? Because we both use yeah. the, the the Tesla. But which one do you prefer to work anyway? We'll start with work. Which do you prefer to drive to work in? A petrol pref- car or, the, or an electric one, you know, Leaf or Tesla. I, I do prefer driving to work in the in the electric car. There's no doubt about that. I mean, there's a couple of things sometimes with the the Tesla, like it's very sensitive. It'll well, pick up if it. EVs in general, not just because yeah. Tesla's a very different beast. We can't really class a forty grand car against a, a mini. So think of the Leaf. Yeah, then. yeah. No, I I enjoy driving that, and it's what I've said before in another video when we were talking about it. That <laughs> what I quite liked was that. There's loads and loads of traffic lights on my journey into work. Lots are you, and lots are you of a points. secret traffic light lots, Grand Prix? Lots creepers. and lots of points where you know you come to you got to come to a stop, put your brake on, your hand, your hand brake on, etc. Change your change down your gears, then get ready to start again. Not having to do that, just a smooth set off in the the electric. Are you car racing people? On it's the way terrific. To work? <laughs> I wouldn't say racing people, <laughs> but when you got somebody next to you who thinks, "Hey, yeah, I'm in a jigged up car. Look at the size of my exhaust. You know, and watch me go." And then I go, "Wang!" And I'm you are, you're, oh. <laughs> you're racing people in the centre of Bradford at times. No. Oh my lord! I only took, but the thing is, it goes to 2025 quite quickly, doesn't it? So I'm not talking about Even the leaf over. Did. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm not talking about that's the nature of EVs. Speeding. It's just it's really good not to have to constantly be putting you break on right. as I say which is a bit more of a fact so if, so if you're going to Whitby for example you go there by yourself a few times yeah that's right. a longer journey and I take I take the mini for because... that because it is because of the size of the the car partly because when we d- get driving it or just parking uh, the parking because when it, we get there it's better to have, have a smaller a smaller car yeah, space pla- wise the, yeah just to, just to clarify the, the place they stay in at small parking spaces it's yeah. not that you're terrible at parking the tesla <laughs> well you, you may think that but yeah no it is it is just that it's a bit more so if if you had a massive strict. parking space be honest with yourself would you take the tesla i don't um, mind you could get there and back without having to charge it at all yeah see i don't know if i, I don't know if i could do that i don't know if i could do the whole journey and back without having to charge but i am coming more around Pretty to the sure way you could. Think it, but there's not many points anyway on that journey where you can charge. I think that's one of the key things, isn't it? They need more uh, There is, but charges. again, you wouldn't need to, given the distance from here to there and back again and what the Tesla can do. Yeah. And the fact you're only going summer, uh, so it's a nice, you know, it's like in the middle of winter where it, the range is less. Yeah. So I have to say, I did say to my daughter this time, well, our daughter, I did say to her this time <laughs> that I might consider taking the, the Tesla another year. But yeah, it is just the the, the space when you get there is so, it's not... Is I it, do. Is and it's it, the same when I go to my mum and dad's. You know that if I'm going to get into their drive, a smaller car is easier. So if we had an electric Mini, forget the range for a second, if we had an electric Mini, yeah, would you take that to your mum and dad's? Yeah. Would you take that to Whitby? Is it, you know, assuming you didn't have to charge it yeah. any more often than in terms yeah. of... So yeah, effectively, I, I, would do. I do like it, driving. We've just got too big an EV at the moment. Electric cars, <laughs> yeah. And then we got it's... too small an EV with the Twizy. <laughs> well, that's just going a little bit too far. I'm, the I'm other sorry, way. but it's all that about is, size with you, that is isn't one it? Extreme. <laughs> yeah, you know what can I say? It's too big. It's size, too small. Size is everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you do with it that counts. Apparently. That's what you tell yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you have a size complex. <laughs> I, I know a size complex. You know what? We're going off to- co- topic a little <laughs> go, go, bit go, go, here. Go, go, go. We need to keep this child friendly. (laughs) So, okay, so I suppose the Leaf was a it was a slightly smaller car than the Tesla, and because of its range, that mean meant you didn't take it to mum and dad's because you would have had to charge it at least once. Yeah, and mum and dad were a little bit bothered about the charging thing, and if we charged at their house, having window open, etc. There were all the Oddities. Extra, extra factors to, to <laughs> you consider. You have to plug something in. Who knows? Voodoo is that. But when it comes to a longer journey, it's not just the EV. It's also about that I don't like doing long journeys either. Yeah, you know, three it. hours so car independent. for me. So if, yeah. if we, yeah. all of us, are going on a journey, are you bothered about... Well, let's say when we go to my mum and dad's down south, 550 miles or something, I think it is, round yeah, trip. I don't like that journey. But 
we've done it in well many cars, but we've done it in the main, yeah. we've done it in the Leaf, we've yeah. done it in the Tesla. So let's let's pick the, the 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 long range EV, the Tesla. Do you mind which one we take, the Mini or the Tesla? Because clearly it takes a little bit less time in the Mini because we just drive down there, get petrol, and then drive all the way back again. But, yeah. Excuse me. We, 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 you can't charge it. My mum and dad should point that out. We have to use the charging infrastructure. Yeah, well, no, I would say I'm usually quite happy taking the Tesla, to be honest. The good thing about the Tesla compared to the Leaf is that we don't have to pull over as many times because it used to extend it by a few hours. Well, we used to have it, to. Yeah, we used to stop twice well, on the way back. a couple to... of hours, I would, I would say, uh, probably, because there'd be 20, 25 an minutes. An hour and a half to two hours, depending one. on various factors. But yeah, you, you'd be looking, yeah, so and we'd drive a little bit slower too. It would, it would extend it, so mm. and then I probably would have preferred the, the petrol one. But now, although it makes the journey a bit longer, I, about half I quite, quite enjoy it. Well, for one thing, it gives me more opportunities to go to the loo without <laughs> having to fight for you to stop. And Ali's saying, well, I don't need to go. I've managed really yeah. well. So yeah, your blood range is definitely subpar to Tesla's. <laughs> yeah, it gives me more opportunity for for that, and you get the chance to stretch your legs. You know, just yeah, get yeah. get out, just a, a change of scene. So actually, I don't mind. It's bigger, it's more comfortable than the the mini. And if it is you're a good a passenger. Even even there. if you have a good you've got run. more scope for fitting things in. Even on a good run, it's Look a six-hour it journey, and no one should be doing mm. six hours without stopping at least once. The well, driving, not. I mean, you can swap drivers, but you know not what I mean? really. And you do do the driving, that's the thing, because I don't I don't. Well, like maybe well, maybe that's journey. something when... You, well, driving's irrelevant. It's the charging yeah. you have a problem yeah. with. You just don't exactly. like driving at all. Although when we drive, hopefully next year to Oslo... <clears throat> yeah, it's not that I don't like driving I can't driving do all that all. driving. <laughs> I, do, I just don't really like long, unfamiliar journeys. So this, the, this is the, the oddity thing. for me. You, I, uh, you know, you're worrying about what I would consider relatively simple stuff and yet you bang on let me finish and then when you were even younger you drove for the very first time after passing your test for what eight or nine months on the wrong side of the road in Menorca when you were yeah and let me point out I had a few car accidents whilst <laughs> I was over there and well, ended up were, with three cars being given to but me but it so didn't seem to phase you yeah but I was too overconfident it. was too overconfident then you know I went bang crash into it and and now I've gone the other way in that sense, I hate roundabouts because the accidents. You're not that helping I've had the cliche women argument. Roundabouts. Your problem with parking, the car's too big, I like, and I, I don't like, like roundabouts. Parking. Apart from reverse parallel parking, I'm, I'm good at parking in a supermarket. <laughs> you just don't like helping. I'm, I'm good at parking in a supermarket, reverse parking there, in a multi-story car park. I don't have an issue with that. Some people will even say to me when they've seen me reversing into the garage, "I couldn't do that." <laughs> it's more Are they Aston women? Say. Yes, but the. <laughs> You don't help yourselves, do you? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it's not, you know, it's not that I can't park. I can park. Unless it's a really small twizzy. It, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right if I'm going in forwards now. <laughs> so, so ultimately, I suppose if you look back on all this in EV land, it's all about confidence. Yes, there is a lot of a lot of confidence in there, and I have anxiety issues, as a lot of people do. And part of my anxiety issues fall into the control bracket. And if I'm not in control, if I'm in unfamiliar territory in a car where I know where you I've have been before, to stop means you're doing something, and if it goes wrong, you can't just carry on. You have to stop. Well, so there's a little lack of control there because yeah. you have to stop. I mean, you'd have you'd, you'd stop for petrol with no problems, presumably, wouldn't you? Well, to be fair, to be fair, Andy. I would always try and get as much petrol as I need so that I don't. That's true. <laughs> Before you, I do a you journey. Do, you do actually, so if, so, even if you got a moment, uh, when you went to Whitby recently, where are you going? Full tank I'm of going petrol. to get some petrol. Why yeah. do you do it on the way there? No, 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 I want to leave with a full tank. <laughs> yeah. so you took a specific journey to, you know, people say it takes five minutes to go to the petrol station. It takes 25 because you were filling it up as a separate journey. But I, yeah, I do. I like to be nice and prepared. So I can get my and petrol. You can't pre prepare a charger. Petrol. Is that is that what and it is? Th there you go. You see, it is. You know the the control things with me. You know the little issues that I have. So it it, it comes down to it. <laughs> Why isn't someone... anybody listening to me? She controls everything <laughs> I say. I'm like, I'm just a puppet. And she's the puppet master. <laughs> Excuse me. Some other people will have similar worries too. They might not be listening on this channel now. They might be listening and totally in your core, thinking I haven't got a clue what this batty woman's on about. But you That's know, the... to be fair, you know, you're not batty. Don't demigrate yourself that way. <laughs> Loopy, maybe. Slightly insane. Yeah, well, there you go. Slightly insane, I prefer. Slight, slightly insane, yeah. So, if I said to you now, we've had the minute, I think longer than any car we've ever owned. 
it's ooh, what is it? Sixteen? It's five years. So we've had it for over four years now. Um, and I said, right, while it's worth some, let's sell it and replace it with a small second. Therefore, it don't have to be anywhere near electric to, mini. And basically, go full electric. Well, <laughs> probably not a mini given the cost, but just an other electric right. car, whatever it may be, mini, yup. Honda, you know, basically a, a small, similar sized car, but electric. So we would have two electric vehicles. One would be smaller, which fits in with what I would Yeah, so that, that gets rid of the argument of, so, of, of taking it somewhere. But yeah. it, will presume, it will likely have a smaller range because it's a smaller car. And at the moment, yes. size, so battery size. What I would say to you is before we go down that route, Tesla still, wouldn't you? I would rather do a bit more charging before we go down that route. Right. So is that the only thing that you would... Because we would be... I mean, at home, you, there's no problem with charging. So, yeah, I just, just literally plug and, plug and play, that's it, isn't it? You right, know, so it's purely out there, the, the infrastructure, that's the issue. Yes. But w if I said, I've seen one, it's a good deal, whatever, we can easily afford it for whatever reason, you know, shall we get rid of the Mini? This weekend, we're going to go have a look at an electric car. I would and say... Let's imagine you like the electric cars. In, ooh, yeah, yeah. I know, I, I would say I'm not quite ready. Not yet? For that, I don't think. Not, not quite ready, no. When will you be ready? I don't know. <laughs> Ask me on. So is it just the charger we need to occasion. get you into? Or? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I I think so, because as I say, I I like the electric car as a concept. and I, I love the Tesla to drive with it. There are a couple of things, like, for example, when it's coming up to something, it goes beep, beep, and it all of a sudden... Yeah, that's just the car. You. Not every car. Does. That, that, a that's bit, a car but... thing as opposed to an electric car thing. So effectively... You, you, did you have a safety blanket when you were young or a teddy bear? That you I had a, a care bear with the, the little <laughs> peach thing that's completely worn off nearly on the, uh, the front so, of so it. So the, the, the petrol car the, is your safety the blanket at the moment? In, in... Probably, yeah. But then it's not my safety blanket if you stuck me on a, I don't know, a, a three and a half hour, four hour journey driving with lots of roundabouts it's not a safety blanket then then it becomes a hazardous piece of barbed wire <laughs> so you know no but i mean what, i'm talking i'm just talking about the difference between petrol and electric yeah that if, is if, still... if you're going on that barbed wire journey would the fact that you're in an electric car add to that yes or would it, it probably make a would difference? but to be fair as i say I, I don't tend to do a journey where i have to use more than a petrol more than a tank of petrol yeah you, you, i mean you would well you, you go to wills every now and then but I would go on the train. But you take the train, even yeah. though it'd be massively cheaper to take an electric vehicle. Yes. And you but can I charge when you're there. Do not want to do a six hour car journey by myself. No. It's not something. In anything? No, not in anything. And uh, we have this argument every mm -hmm. year. It's I'm not, not an gonna... argument, it's a discussion. Yeah, well, yes, you call it what you want discussion, argument. <laughs> I'll give you £100. Pounds, every that's how much we'd save year. by not getting the train. And I'm still coming back with the same thing. So that's how I feel. What if we were really short of money when you, you, you had to take the electric car? I probably wouldn't go to Wales. <laughs> I would probably <laughs> Sorry, FaceTime. I'm not coming. <laughs> FaceTime or instead. Right, so that's nothing EV related. That's just car. No. So ultimately... That is, that is me. The the next thing we have to do then is to get you using chargers. Uh, out there, I mean. You know, the public chargers. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, not so much the long journeys because you won't do that regardless. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you're in. It's the charging mm. of it. And once you get hmm. once you're comfortable with that, in yeah. theory, it's like you get petrol car again. And at that stage, you might be happy to flick over to yeah. all electric. But the thing is, it, it's a case of not pressuring, just being patient. That's the that's the point. Right. So it's been six years. Roughly how <laughs> how long? Do no, you but think? we're just discussing it now, aren't we? So it's not the first time. <laughs> well, we're discussing it seriously now. So. Well, we're, I think we're a long way off going full full electric. Mm. For financial reasons alone, but um, I'm still not wanting to get rid of the petrol car from because it's you know I'm, I like whole car. Well, you're talking about potentially thing. getting an Audi TT, a convertible, a Mac One. So there you go. It will appreciate be... in value and be a good financial investment. Uh, yeah, but that's not going to be an electric Manual. car. That's going <laughs> to yeah, be but a full that will on. that will do two thousand miles a year at most. Like right. the Twizy, it will. Mm -hmm. It's a garage queen, and yeah. like the Twizy, I'll probably make money when I sell it. Mm -hmm. So effectively, you know, because we, we sold the Twizy for more than we paid for it. And if you include insurance and everything we spent on it. So effectively, we got paid to drive a Twizy for six months. I don't, you know, I, I always think it's better to have the, uh, you know, some of your savings, as long as you've got rainy day stuff, sat on the driveway 
or in the garage. Enjoying them rather than stuck <laughs> Than in, in the bank account, bank earning account. no interest whatsoever. Um, Waiting for the bank to go bust. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So but, we'll, I don't think, I mean, yeah, I mean, from a fun point of view, I don't want to give the, up the petrol engine, but you will do so few miles. Mm. Um, but I doubt you're going to be doing a long journey in an Audi TT convertible. Well, maybe you will. I don't know. It's not a big car. <laughs> Might get quite carried away. I need to go but... find one as soon as possible then. And then we can get rid of the Mini for a full electric car. Ooh, because yeah. we'll always have that little backup there. <laughs> <laughs> but back to this now. So if anybody's listening now, you know, a couple, say, on a journey, on a motorway journey, and they're, they're having that... Air I want an EV. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it to 20.5. 20, 20. And it usually is, in many, many, many people over the years who've spoken to me, it's usually you help me persuade the other person that it's all right, it's fine. These mm. are the, you know, it's not perfect. These are the downsides, these are the benefits. Mm. Um, so what would you say to, you know, that nervous person? Just, just do it or get a few assurances first? I would or... say try, try a test drive. Try a test well, drive in it. The car's the car, do... isn't it? They will like that. Well, I yeah, I know, but still. It's worth doing, but and if you can, should charge it be part of that test? Yeah, maybe, maybe. But then I wouldn't want it to put them off. Maybe it would be worth actually. Yeah, but you, you don't want to get something and then find something puts you off. Like that's affect what happened with you. If I if, if we'd have done some, you know, charging out there. Bear in mind that six years ago was a very different kettle of fish in terms of the charging. Yeah, I think if you're going to get an EV, you want to look at your range carefully. If you're bothered about the, the charging. If you're not bothered about the charging and you just like the idea of throwing yourself into it wholeheartedly, then that, that challenge is fine. But if you are, then I think you need to make sure that you're getting a car which has got a decent... Is range a problem? Range. I mean, is getting back well, 10% a problem? Well, no, but what I'm saying is that then you can get further no, but without it, needing to do as much charging. Yeah, but that's what so. I mean. It, it, you are to... One of the hardest things that you, know, you have to get your head around, I remember going back, certainly with the Leafs, is getting back on ten percent. Bear in mind that again, you were the, you were using it. Yeah, well, this the second is what we, time. This is what we said before. But you know, sometimes it, you don't like going into the red in your petrol gauge, do you? No, I don't. Or even close to it. No. But you have to with the well. Back then, you had to with the short range leak. Oh well, I remember you said that the puffing was going to come up or something at the turtle. at the end. Okay, a turtle. <laughs> so you said something was going to come up. Now I never got to the stage of seeing that thing, no, but no, because... I used to be really, really worried. Cause I thought if I see that blooming turtle. Yeah, but, but if it's that's, at 10, that's it, 10 game miles over. left. You're ten, sorry, ten percent left, ten miles roughly, and you'd be two miles from home. Yeah, you could drive it like a lunatic, and you, you wouldn't. It'd be physically impossible, but you were still worried yeah. about it. But oh. you did get used to getting back on what would be in yes, the red, I, I as got, it were, on a, in your car, because the petrol station is your house. Yes, and so I did. But you do get, get used to that because I think that's yeah. something that I think you know. I need a three hundred mile range EV, but you, why? Why do you need to get home on fifty percent? No, I'm not saying you need that in bigger range, but I think it's worth people getting now that the the EVs are available with more range. Oh, it's, oh, oh it's yeah, worth absolutely. Definitely getting something that's got. But don't be afraid of dipping into the the twenty percent, the ten percent. Don't panic oh, if you if no. you know you can get home. You no, can if get you've, home if you've worked out your journey. That's know your fine, car. but I mean. Yeah, in the I had that, that really, really bad journey when I came back and it had been snowing and then there was a tree across the road and on the main road and I had to go It's all right, you were in a leaf. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. And I had to go over the There was a slight diversion, wasn't there? There was a slight yeah, so I, I had to go around and over and I was a little bit worried because the weather wasn't great. By that point oh, because that was the other thing in the leaf, when you dropped to below six percent It went blank. It went, blank. it went black. Dash dash. That was it. I, I couldn't see anything else. So before that turtle comes up, it goes black. And yeah. that is really frightening. You had about five so, mile, I think. Yeah. Six miles when I, that I remember up. being over. And then I tried ringing you and it was like half past two in the morning and you didn't answer. I tried ringing you three times. And... I think I did answer, then, No, you didn't. Did I not? You didn't. No. So I just had these visions of just coming to a, a stop and really not being that far from Yeah, well, you were in home. walking distance of home. Well, no, I, I'm not by like still probably three quarters of an hour walking distance but in the car five minutes on the moors yeah that's what made you were only up there weren't you well maybe half an hour <laughs> okay, so okay you can walk up to that pinnacle maybe up half there. an hour but the visibility the visibility wasn't yeah, good so it, it was bad weather snowing, so it was really really bad weather so maybe a half a half an hour away on foot and i thought i don't know what i do if i get to the stage where the car stops and i was just crying by the time i mean i carried on driving because it does start going and you got home. downhill and i got home and you had about three four and, five miles of range left well, which sounds terribly low 
Yeah. Well, you you, you, know, you could get to so, Keithley. In so that no, I, I did do it. So it does do more than you think, but, but that, that was quite scary. See, I would look at that as, right, I know what happens when I get low and I was yeah. fine. But did you look at that as the opposite, as I, I don't want to experience that ever? Yeah. Rather, yeah. So it's not a learning experience, it was a bad experience. That, that was a bad experience and it's no one that I won't it all, forget. But I suppose the bit of learning in it is that you could get further than you think well, you can, it said 6% you can get. and then it and went And I also blank. knew yeah. in future that once I got to the point where I was at 7%, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go black. I was yeah. ready so it was almost for that, that to happen. So there was a slight bit the of learning in there. The fact it was snowing there, the other diversion horrible. didn't help. <laughs> it was horrible. And I sat there with the wheel grinding my eyes out before I came in the house because I just I so, 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 so you, you, you worked up. What you should have done is, I guess, maybe carried on driving. Then, if you're worried about start crying. <laughs> well, I did carry on driving whilst I was crying, All right, obviously. Well, and then I got back home. I thought, well, I can't do anything else. I'll carry on and I'll just hope for the best. And that sometimes, um, the fact, well, I have to get on with this. No one else can come and help me. Is a good thing, I think, yeah, occasionally. Yeah. But it, you, did, you carried on. The next day you went in. Well, yeah, the next day I went back to work because obviously it had been plugged in and magically the numbers got up again. Yeah. So... so. I mean, I think this, if anyone's listening to this, I think you, you remember these. These are we're talking about very early low range EVs. Here. Yeah, that's why you're I'm not, saying you're not you, going to have that experience. You've got, you've got a lot more now in terms of in terms of range with the, with cars. So yeah, the, the, you're less likely they're to, a lot be, cheaper and now to be in that a, a position. Double the range than the Leafs list price was anyway. Um, so I don't think you'd ever have the same problem. And we have a very unique pattern because I go to work do a reasonably long commute, and then you take the same car. We, yeah. it's, it's, it's passing ships in the night, you know, I get out of the car, and we did this for years, and we still do sometimes, where you mm. literally get in the car, don't even bother turning it off. You get in the car and you go to work. No, exactly. So it, yeah. there's not very few people out there that use the, the same car twice, two commutes in a day. Um, mm. So I, I think we have a, a very different it's, usage It's pattern. efficient. It is very You've efficient. You've never had anything come close to that in, since we replaced it with the Tesla, have you? Oh no, nothing like that with a Tesla. No, we, we are talking early days here. It just it just reminded me that yeah, you know there are. I don't want to put that scare times. story to put people off. Uh, that that was early no. days. What it was like back then. It uh, was early days, and I can get worked up about things anyway. But what I'm trying to say is that it is worth getting a, a decent range on the the car. And like I say, you've got you get what you can afford. Yeah, you've got a lot but more the, options. The smallest TVs at the moment, you know, the cheapest TV, should I say, will do 140. Which yeah, is 130 which is a, worst case, realistically. There's a new one now, forgetting the used market, and which is more at least double what we started yeah, with. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't sound a lot, but believe me, double the range is a massive difference because instead of yeah. getting back on 10%, you're getting back on 50 or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It, it, you know, these are just your experiences, not what you will experience if you choose to go down the EV route. And I doubt you'll be doing yeah. two commutes in a day. No, um, and there's plenty of things that I've said that are, are positive about the, the car. We're talking about just occasional moments from past past experiences, as you say, and past cars that we've that we've had. But there have been lots of fun trips that we've had, and as I say, you know, it's a bit of, of a. Actually, I, I view things like that as a challenge. Remember when we in the 24 Leaf, the early one, the 60 to 70 mile range one, we drove to Southampton in it. And I think we stopped eight times going down. I mean, yeah. Eight times. And that was one of the first that. videos we did, you know, like four or five years ago. Um, it, it was to someone's birthday party, the 50th, I think. And we were in Southampton, New Forest. In fact, we camped. And um, we had everything with us. And that I viewed as, well, let's do it. It's a bit of a challenge. It was, yes, for the, we'll get a video out of it. Let's see if we can do it. And obviously we saved a ton of money because Secretricity was free back then. So... Oh, it costs us nothing yeah. in fuel as opposed to 150 quid in a petrol car. Um, do, do you ever look back on that and go, oh, it's a bit of fun. It, it, it turns it into an adventure, <laughs> I think, sometimes. Yeah. That wouldn't even happen with a modern EV because it's so easy. It's plug and play. There's chargers everywhere. It's yeah. it, it's just it's, They've just become a car. I mean, you used to wave, didn't you, if you saw another leaf? Well, I keep saying how many Teslas I see these days on the road. You know, three or four. Oh, they're everywhere. Three or four sometimes just in one day. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Quite often the white. Oh, well, that's the free colour. Like, well, yeah, that's... We are in Yorkshire, remember. That's what Alex points <laughs> out as well. <laughs> Mummy, it's the free colour. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. I, th I think it used to be a case of you've... Wa I, you know, I'd, I'd wave saw another electric vehicle, not just a leaf, because it would be so rare. And now 
you'd be waving non-stop. They're, they're literally... You won't see as many as I do, obviously, because, you know, there are so many models now. No. It's become... I won't say it's normal yet, but when it's not unusual. When you have unusual. a car, you always notice more when other people have that same car as well. There is that You too. do spit, spot your own car everywhere, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, the Model exactly. 3 is the best-selling car of the last quarter, so I think that's partly why. Yeah. Um. So, so ultimately, then... And... Oh? Actually, if you are rounding things up, aren't you supposed to be telling them the story about the, the first leaf and how we acquired... Our second leaf. <laughs> well, t- uh, well, uh, yeah, it's no longer on the channel because I, I agreed to take it down. Basically, uh, a lot of people will have already seen this if you're on the channel. Ooh, it will have been in 2016-ish, so we I guess it it's longer than years, I thought. The first no, we only leaf. had it for just over a year. Really? Yeah. Um, oh, so right. we ended up going okay. from a 24 to a 30 kilowatt hour leaf. And the reason we changed after just over a year, even though it's a three-year finance agreement, was because Nissan basically took our old car back at no cost. And gave us an extremely uh, attractive sort of trading price, if you will. And then we bought a 30 kilowatt hour leaf that had just come out in lieu of that. And the reason that happened was because, yes, it was just over a year old because it, it had just had its first service. Yes, because that was quite an interesting service. Yeah, wasn't but that's, it? That, that tells us it was right. just over okay. a year old because it just okay. had its service. Um, yeah. So they picked the car up, did Nissan, and drove it there, you know, as, as, as dealers do now, they come and pick your car up for you. Um, and I had a dash can. You did? As, as well, as, as I always do, because I wouldn't be without one. And I, I was going to do the video about what do they do in a service, because I think at the time it was £100 for the service. I thought, well, there's nothing to service. What are they doing? So, so my intention was... interested. Yeah, my yeah, intention was to basically was do a little video and go, right, it's just had its service. Let's have a look at the dash cam to see what they actually do. And I remember turning it on, and a guy plugged it into the computer for, like, five minutes, and then topped up the screen wash, and then shut the bonnet. I'm like... Is that it? I've paid a hundred pounds for someone to plug a computer in, and, and then, then we got a bit more of a side yeah, show, yeah, we didn't we? And then uh, the the wash your car. Now this particular dealership had a separate part to it, which was a uh, according to them. Oh, it's not it's not us. We employ them to clean our cars, and it was a little bay just away from the uh, the, the the garages, I suppose you call it. And the guy that cleaned it, he obviously yeah, well he, he had his bucket, you know the usual sort of stuff. He jet washed the car, and then he thought, oh, I need a wee. And instead of walking what would have been a good, to be fair to him, 15, maybe 20 yards to the toilet, he decided to have a pee. And you can see him looking around on the dash cam. Is there anyone around? No, nope. he peed in the bucket that he was washing the car with. Yeah, the and then bucket. he carried on washing the car with that same bucket um, and the gloved hands that he was holding his todger in. All on the, basically, he, he pissed on his car. Lovely. Um, Lovely experience it was. So I'm, I'm watching this. I remember being in the kitchen and shouting, you know, going, can you believe what we're am seeing? I, am I am I seeing this? Was it? Yeah. Look, he's having it. I mean, it, it was smack it was bang, blatant. smack bang Absolutely in front of the dashboard. They clearly didn't know there was one there because he he, he, he literally got his wangle out. Yeah. In play his day right in front of the camera. It's mm-hmm. almost as if it was planned. Um, and then I remember putting. I, I did a quick edit, a, a little bit of a, a, ske- a sketch, if you will, because I always said. Uh, I think my tagline was Nissan. We may take the piss, but we give it back to you afterwards. <laughs> The and power I, of social media. Well, is I put all it, this, I say bear in mind that the channel at the time probably had four or five thousand subscribers, really small. Um, <laughs> and I put it up there, and it, it, a lot of people watched it. Nissan UK, they have uh, obviously have a YouTube, I don't know if it's an account or channel. They contacted me within two hours of that video going up. The CEO, you were speaking to him. Right, right, let me get there. <laughs> um, they contacted me saying, Hi. Um, Nissan GB, could, could you let us know what dealer it was and give us your contact details? And then, so I sent them that, and then ooh, I think it was about quarter past seven in the morning the next day because I, w- I was literally arriving somewhere to work and I got a phone call and it was the dealership that had yeah. th- that had this issue, should we say? Yes. Ringing me up, and I'm like, bloody hell, they never ring me at quarter past seven. <laughs> they were up early. Uh, and yeah, the room went. Oh yeah, oh, oh, we're very sorry about that. It, it, they're not an employees. They're basically deflected. That was the initial thing. Oh, it's not. It wasn't us. Basically, we, we employ them to clean. Responsibility. And I said, well, uh, fine, yeah, all right, but you know, you've pissed on my car. Quite frankly, what are you going to do about it? And in my head, I thought I'll get me hundred quid back here. I must do. Yeah, we all oh, we thought we might get. Well, a that's why I expected. I thought you, you know, given what you've done. I ain't paying for that service because I don't mm. think. I mean, you haven't done anything for the service, so that's why I thought I might get. Maybe a free service in the future. I don't know. Like I that. was happy to get my money back, and then we're happy to. In fact, no, she didn't say that. She said 
the guy who owns the cleaning part was happy to pay for my servicing. And eight, I think it was £89 actually. And I went, okay, well, I'll have a think about it. Well, if you take the video down, I said, well, there's a lot of people watching it, so I'll have a think about that one. And then, okay, no problem. Oh, and they'd sacked the guy. Mm. They, hadn't, they hadn't talked to him. And I had, and yeah, I guess you would if you, if you saw that. Well, but I'm yeah, like, well, you, you never even spoke to him. So we've sacked him. Well, I, I'm not after his, you know, getting sacked. I'm, you know, disciplining, but well, it's too late now, I guess. Um, but yeah, he did pee on someone, a customer's car. It's a bit weird. Isn't it? But anyway, um, the next day, I got a phone call from someone, the, the, the CEO of Nissan Great Britain, the head honcho. Mm-hmm. to apologise and he went oh I've, I've worked in the car industry for 25, 50 years whatever he said I've never seen anything like that and I went no I haven't either quite frankly uh, we'll get something sorted for you and then long story short it took two weeks but his team or whatever they call them eventually got us out of that car so we want to keep you happy and again I thought we were just getting the servicing cost back he said what we're going to do then we're going to take your car back um, no excess mileage. We'll, we'll just buy it back and, and clear the finance, that sort of stuff. And uh, and then they initially offered to give me a thirty kilowatt hour char- uh, leaf, the big, you know, the, one, the new big, bigger battery version, uh, a more expensive price than I could get at the dealership. And I, I remember saying to the guy, I said, "Right, right, I feel like you're taking the mick out of me again now because you wanted me to pay more than I can just walk into yeah. to replace the car, and you're saying you're trying, you're to, trying make to make me, me a happy. favor, yeah." And at that time, I said, I mean, I had had a couple of emails from a couple of news organisations, small ones. I can't even remember the name of it. Saying, oh, can we put this on our website? So I just went to them and said, look, the Daily Mail have just contacted me saying, can we put this on our website and we'll pay you whatever for it? So can you just make a decision within an hour? How about this offer, sir? <laughs> and then, so, like that, that. so basically that's how we, you know, long story short, that's yeah. how we ended up with a, a new leaf a year after we bought that one because literally someone peed in on the car in front of a dash cam. And did us a huge favour. <laughs> what a weird situation to be in. Yeah, but um, very... And it went downhill swiftly from that after 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 I won't bore you with the details. But yeah, that, it was such <laughs> a strange situation. And it just shows you that complaining, not even complaining, I didn't even complain. I just sent them the video. Well, here you go. But it just yeah, shows you... the mention if, about the press. If I hadn't, if I hadn't have had a YouTube channel... Mm. They probably wouldn't have even run with back. Mm. And you shouldn't have to have a presence or whatever you call it on social media no, to get that sort of thing. And it's not fair. That um, is what it takes often, isn't it? Having that little bit of extra weight. Well, Otherwise, it, you know, it's just you against the world. I think 10,000 people saw that video before I, I removed it because that was part of the agreement. You know, They didn't say, you have to. They said, we would appreciate it if. And it's mm. still on there. I can make it live at any point. Um, yeah, but, the, yeah, the... Uh, you shouldn't have to embarrass a company, yeah, you know, with evidence. It's not like to be you know, able to get to get what you want. It it, well, like it shouldn't have happened in the first place, quite frankly. No, um, but yeah, it's it's why partly why we'll never be without a dash cam. Funnily enough, when they serviced it the next time, they unplugged it. <laughs> yeah, I always make sure it's turned on whenever they take a car away, but it's not usually turned on when it comes back. It was a slightly awkward. Because we picked up the car from the same dealership because they effectively funded it because Nissan GB did. Yeah. When we, I remember going to pick up the new car, and um, it was clearly the same dealership, obviously that done the service. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is going to be weird. What do I care? What have I done wrong? So yeah, we just went there, picked it up, and drove it away. Yeah, they, just they signed the even, paperwork. And they didn't was... even give us a new car. Oh, here's your new car, sir. Where they unveil it. It's like it's, there you go. You it, know what to do. They with were doing it. it through gritted teeth. Um, which again really annoyed me because you'd think they'd be going I'm really sorry about that I don't, I, what a weird they didn't, I, they didn't apologise did the dealer when we went to pick the car up I can't remember to be honest with her but no I, they probably didn't did and they thinking, and it's just a small thing to do well yeah. it's a massive thing to give away a car isn't it so they were probably well, they feeling give it away because they took hours in, in part well yeah it true it probably so cost it them a little bit of money it wasn't completely given away but even so it was more than they wanted to part with, so they were disgruntled. Well, no, I embarrassed them about in front of yeah. Nissan GB, their dealership network, and I won't mention who it is, the one in Bradford. Their dealership <laughs> network got embarrassed, and presumably someone at Nissan GB weren't wasn't happy. Yeah. And I, I, I deliberately hid them from that channel. I didn't say where it was, so I didn't say Nissan. Look at Nissan in in in. Well, there's no point. It's years ago. It doesn't matter. Nissan and Bradford. Look what they did. I just I just said I got it serviced. So I didn't even specify who serviced it. 
But yeah, I mean... So it's like losing face. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't... If I... If, but yeah, it's a simple thing to apologise. Well, yeah, yeah. Just to say, I'm sorry, even if it doesn't actually take away from what... And you know what? Happened, if they'd have done that it's... before any of the CEO thing happened, if they'd have rung up and said, I don't know what's happened here, we're really sorry, disciplined, we'll pay for your service, I, I, you know, what, what can we do? We'll send you, you know, some flowers, we'll chocolate... Yeah, you know, well, I'm really, I'm so sorry. I'd have left it at that. You would have, yeah. But the You'd first conversation was the service manager deflecting, oh, well, we don't employ these people. Um, it, it's a cleaning company that we use for it, um, and they're willing. She, they, they weren't they're taking no. no responsibility. And, and straight away that gets your back up, and then you want yeah. more. Just don't up. If you screw you're up, you're not getting any acknowledgement. Just, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind if companies yeah. screw up. It happens all the time. Just admit it and go, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. Right. We did go a little bit off kilter there, um, but ultimately <laughs> we'll end on you saying, you know, do you think EVs? Uh, do you regret getting an electric vehicle? No, you've already you've already. Well, yeah, but let's send you on that. Token, but yeah, no, I don't regret getting an EV. I have enjoyed having it. And you preferred it driving is... it? I think you said that. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, Certainly in well, traffic anyway. Yeah, definitely, definitely in traffic. I prefer driving it. You do feel quite safe driving it. It's a nice, comfortable car. Now, obviously, that's partly to do with the Tesla and not well, just the necessarily well, to do with the, it, yeah. the, the EV, so the, the Leaf as well. But but it's, a, it's just also, a car at the end of the day, isn't it? I guess that's what most, a lot of people can take from this. Well, yeah. Charging it aside, you, it's you a haven't car. got. It's simpler in the sense you've not got the engine to be worrying about, things like that. Uh, so you haven't got the, well, the, the... So no regrets, basically? No. No. No, I don't have any regrets with getting the... But we can't go for EV yet? No. <laughs> not quite. But it's not the car's fault, is it? It's the infrastructure's fault. Yeah. And I think that's 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 Always. the same time and time again in the videos we do. The problem's at the car, it's the infrastructure out there that can put people off. Yeah, and for some people it can be where they live as well, that they haven't got... We're in a bit of a charging desert, aren't we? Uh, in turn, you know, there are a few now, but not enough to, to keep no, people So then you, you don't want to be able to have one at home. That's the, the That's thing. the big thing. If I think if anybody can charge at home... That is Certainly, the ideal. if you've got two cars, there's no, there's almost no excuse assuming you can afford the car, because you can always take the other car, just like we did when we first got one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, don't worry about it. Just do it. What have you got to worry about? Mm. Yeah, I think people make it a bigger deal than it is. It's, it is just a steering wheel with four wheels, and it moves forward and backwards. Yeah. And you get in it. And you can have negative, positive experiences in any car, whether it's EV or whether it's Exactly, yeah. People pick petrol. up on the negatives of EVs, I think, and forget about the negatives of the petrol car. We have to spend yeah. a fortune maintaining it over years, petrol. That's the thing. I mean, petrol bills are going up. So right now, I got Very petrol expensive. today. I got petrol in the Mini, and I'm looking, thinking, God, it's I'm not used point, to this. <laughs> one, well, well, it's 1.32, you know. It used to be 1.17 I remember when I started driving. I think, it was, I think when I started driving, it was 65p. Oh, well, that's a very, very long time ago. But <laughs> sure. showing your interest. <laughs> but yeah, it was 1.17 year and a half before the pandemic, mm. two years ago. Now, as I say, it's 1.32. And Asda used to be the cheaper one to go to. But it's not a cost thing, is it? That's, you're, you're not really looking at the EV as a cost-saving thing in terms of fuel and maintenance. You, it's the car. Well, yeah, but it is but something it does, still to... It? It you does, don't miss yeah. going to a petrol station, do you? It's, I don't. No, exactly. So it's worth bearing in mind. It does save money. And I always think if I'm going to work in that, it's more it, it's more economical than if I'm going in the, the Mini. Massively. So, yeah. Because so we can't charge it on, of course. So mm. there we go, guys. I think they can take it from that. Uh, yeah. An opinion from a non-car person. That would be fair. <laughs> yeah, I would say non-car. A non-car person who does enjoy driving in certain circumstances. <laughs> If the wind's blowing the correct direction, <laughs> if the sun is just so, if the temperature's just right, you like driving. I like driving. I like setting off from those traffic lights. I like those. You're a racer. You're where... basically a drag strip yeah. racer. You, you want to go to one of those quarter mile strips, don't you? And race people on it. You don't want to race around a track. You just want to set off the line. <laughs> no, yeah. You never do that when I'm in the car, are you? Well, you're not in the car when I'm going to work on this car. Oh, so it's when journeys. you go to work that you're racing other people. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a racing thing anyway. It's more just that I don't have to worry about getting into gear. Do you do that thing where you look across and then you look at the thing, I'm going to have you, <laughs> and then they look at you and go, oh, hello, fellow driver, and you go, oh, shut up. And yeah, then you also, put your foot down. There have also been those points where I've noticed that it's a lorry and then I've ended up pulling back and thinking, actually, I'm not going to try and go ahead of you. I'm going to just let you go. So then I've had my little rabbit legs. We're talking about merging turns here. Oh, no. You're one of those people on the roads, are you? Well, no, imagine, no, what about <laughs> if you've got two lanes, two lanes next to each other, and then, you know, it starts, it merges as you go a bit 
further along past the traffic I'm lights. I'm surprised then, uh, no one's pulled you, did you? You're a little bit quick there, madam, when you were setting off. Who do you? I don't see why not. It's still the speed limit is 30. So. I see you accelerate quickly up to the speed limit all the time, officer. Not what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. Right, okay, we're good. We're pretty okay. much almost bang on an hour. Wow. Wow. You see how time flies when you're having fun? Indeed. Yeah. You see? tell yourself that. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it happens with me. Right, well, I think we're done. Uh, I think next week, hopefully, we will be on time with the podcast. But yeah, we have two podcasts that were really, we were really, really good ones. You thought, oh, that, that was good discussion with me and Harry. And oh, there, was, there was a whine in the background that we. Well, through the audio equipment, that you just meant it would it drive people insane. Uh, so please let us know um, in whether it's through the contact page. If you're watching this as a member on the YouTube channel, contact us somehow and, and tell us what you think. Has this allayed any fears in the uh, you know whoever you're trying to persuade? Has this increased any fears? I think, well, yeah, it's completely put you <laughs> off getting an electric vehicle. Yeah, this special guest won't be appearing again. Yeah, I might have to edit part of these out. <laughs> Right, uh, thanks for listening. I always say thanks for watching. I've got to use it now. Uh, driving home. Now I've spelt it correctly. And no one noticed that. Really? We, we spelt driving home incorrectly on the first podcast. O-H-M-E. Which is the name of the Omi charger, not the word home, O-H-M. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so right, I've been running around okay. changing, the, uh, changing oh, the, the spelling, which a few people picked up on. But, but then they went, oh, O-H-M-E. It's home. It's, it's it's the same letters, isn't it? Hey, I, I should, should have got, just kept it as that. To be honest, kept it as that. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that thing as well. So there you go. So yeah, if anyone's wondering, I had a few people contact me saying, "Oh, is this is this a clever play on words? Well done." It's like, no, we just spelt it wrong. <laughs> you should have just. And we, 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 I must have been doing it for a month before we actually did the first, po first podcast. And in the entire month, none of us saw it was spelt right. Wrong. Uh, right. right then, guys, we're going to say bye now and sign off and stop boring you. Well, every time we end a podcast. I said to Harry, granted there's only been one, but the other two that were doing work. <laughs> yeah, I said, right, so many occasions. You need to, and it'll be the last thing that everyone hears. I just want you to think of one word that you can say, and that'll be the last thing they say. Whiz. <laughs> <laughs>